Welcome back to Battle of the Supercars at the Ferrari Driving Experience at Sehui Mall Tremblant in Quebec, Canada. Tanner leads our competition one zip after his break and avoid win in round one. In round two, Tanner and Paul get ready to put their car control skills to the test. Ferrari Driving Experience instructors have set up the figure eight course on a wet skid pad where Paul and Tanner must keep their cars in an oversteer situation all the way around. In this event, Paul and Tanner drive identical Ferrari 599 HGTEs. The beautiful Ferrari 599 could be the ultimate GT car. And in HGTE trim, it handles even better, especially in aggressive driving situations. The front-mounted V12 engine makes well over 600 horsepower and shifts through its F1 super fast automated manual transmission. Standard of the figure eight skid pad, all about car control. This is right in your wheelhouse, isn't it? Car control is what I like to do. I like to slide cars. So you would think this would be in my backyard, but you know, Paul's been uh, racing cars for a long time. All right, Paul, Tanner was sandbagging a little bit. You have to give the advantage to him on this figure eight skid pad, right? Obviously, you got a lot of power and a lot of torque and doing a figure eight, not so much going around in a circle. It's can be quite tricky. But he's a drifter. Doesn't that intimidate you? Not really, no. Never thought I'd be drifting in a Ferrari, but we're going to give it a shot. Tanner is on course in the silver 599 HGTE. These cars are good for 200 miles per hour. Here, the judges will keep watch on his transitions between loops of the figure eight course. Looking smooth now, Mr. Drifter. Get offline here and you lose it. Whoa, Tanner spins. Paul's local knowledge is no advantage in the figure eight. Through the transitions into the loop. Uh-oh, PT spins it. Back on the gas. It looks like he's thrown out the oversteer and is going for pure speed in the wet. And he's done. Okay, LP. We have to say Tano won. We really wanted the driver to keep the car sideways into an oversteer situation all the way around the figure eight. Uh, Paul tried to keep more speed going around, and it was not exactly what we wanted. Now, do you want to tell Paul or should I? I think you should. Okay, Paul, you lost. The Ferrari guys were judging on car control. I was really just kind of going for lap time and not so much sliding, so I'd, I'd give it to Tanner. That whole drifting thing is Tanner's thing. He likes to slide and throw the car around. That's uh, not my scene. All right, Tanner, you spun out a couple of times, but they're giving you the victory. It was really tricky, I have to be honest. I couldn't see a thing in the sprinklers and you know the lights inside. It was really hard to do, and uh, very cool to, to take Paul down and you know, put a nail in his coffin. Tanner nails up his second point on the Michelin Battle of the Supercar scoreboard after his win in the figure eight event in round two. Up next, round three. You can definitely feel on the racetrack that this car has more power under your foot. It's Paul's chance to put Tanner on defense. Too much curve there. The 458 Italians go full bore on Les Equi, Mont Tremblant. And later, the boys attack the merciless time trial. Paul's strangely good at these kinds of things. He shouldn't be. But I'm going to have to be on my game either way. Welcome back to Battle of the Supercars in Quebec, Canada. 
When the Lesequi Montreblanc isn't hosting our program, it's home to the Ferrari driving experience, where participants challenge the 2.65 mile, twisty 15 corner circuits. There are plenty of elevation changes and high speed sections to accommodate our battle of the supercars drivers. Tanner leads our driver competition to zip after his win in the break and avoid event, driving the Ferrari California and the figure eight skid pad challenge in the 599 HGTE in round two. Round three is the lead and follow event where Paul and Tanner chase each other around the 1.53 mile northern loop of the track in two mid-engine 458 Italians. The Italia's direct injected V8 makes the next straightening 127 horsepower per liter. It's engineered for quick handling, slick aerodynamics, and maximum efficiency. Shifts are lightning fast with the seven-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox. Paul, what a treat it must be to drive this 458 on a track you've been on many times before. Walk us through it. To get behind the wheel of this brand new Ferrari Italia, you're living a charmed life. It's a pretty, uh, pretty thrilling day. Tanner, you're one of the first people in North America to drive this 458. What do you think? I mean, how awesome is that? I mean, the car is one of the more striking cars I think that Ferrari has ever produced. All right, let me get to the real issues here. These are pretty prized possession of the Ferrari driving experience here. So when you get somebody like Paul Tracy with his reputation and a track like this, as threatening as it is, stuff happens. Ferrari driving experience instructors judge how Paul and Tanner dissect corners and accelerate on the straights. The smoothest fast line around wins our lead and follow event. Our Italias are on the attack. Paul is in the red and Tanner in the yellow. With Paul taking the lead, Tanner has got to keep pace with and just follow the Canadian who knows every inch of asphalt. Get too far behind and he can't follow the leader. Let's switch it to race mode and see if we can feel the difference here. Boy, it really reacts well to smooth brake release. Here. It's Tanner's turn in front, but when Paul is behind you, the pressure is on. Pick the wrong line, and you lose a lot of speed. He's got a little bit of slow entry. Tanner has got it going now. Uh, whoa. I just show Tanner a little bit of the what's up. And that's it. Back to the pits. Amazing track. Awesome. Cars. JF Tanner Faust is a rally car guy and a drifting guy, which means he's either going through the woods or killing tires. What do you think about having him behind the wheel of the 458? He did a good job on a circuit that he didn't know. Uh, I think it was a bit rough with a brake, over braking a few areas. Too much curb there, maybe a little bit. No, they didn't get too close for your comfort? At uh, one time, maybe. LP, you observed Paul Tracy driving this 458. What'd you think? From a Formula car driver, sometimes you think he's going to be more aggressive with the car, and actually he did really well, and it's been really smooth with the steering wheel and smooth with the uh, throttle and the brake. You can definitely feel this car has over 500 horsepower. It's still a little bit understeer. But these cars are like your babies, and it didn't scare you at all to have Paul Tracy out there going well over 100 miles an hour? No, he had smooth hands, and it was, you know, listening to the car, which is really important. For me, it was old hat. This is a track that I've raced on since I was 16 years old. Tanner's never been here before. It was a perfect day. Well, despite his superb handling of the 458 Italia, we will have to mark down Tanner for early braking compared to Paul's smooth, fast lines. Paul's experience on this track is rewarded with a win in the lead and follow event. Paul is making a comeback. However, Tanner leads the Michelin Battle of the Supercar scoreboard. Two events to one after round three. Still ahead, Paul and Tanner reload in round four. This is a pretty tricky little track. Driving incredible 430 Scuderias. There is no margin for error. I think the trick is going to be, one, to listen to some instruction for the guys that know the track and uh, get that power to the ground as efficiently as possible. 